Jan Eric doesn't know this yet, but I'm about to tell him. He's going to agree to loan me one of these boats for a weekend if this video gets 10,000 likes. Isn't that right, Jan Eric? Yeah, that's a deal. That's You've got deal. it here on camera. That's Look, a deal. Yes. Handshake. That's a handshake. Right, guys, I'm absolutely delighted because we are being joined by Jan Eric, who is the co founder of Axo Park. Jan Eric, welcome to the Super Yacht Cats and YouTube channel. Thank you. And thank you for you know being on the channel. We're really grateful. Yep. As you know, we do have an Axo Park 37 for Motor Your A or as a chase boat. Yep. And personally, I'm a huge fan of Axo Park. So congratulations on all the work you. you and your team have done. So really the first question for you is how and why did Axo Park start in the first place? Well, um Axopar is actually the result of three brands that have been done before in the past. So the, even the brand name Axopar stands from the three brands, Aquador, Exo and Paragon. So that these are three brands that were developed uh, all with, let's say, first brand I wasn't a part of it. Um, right. But the second two brands I was the co-founder of. And these two models, uh, one was made out of aluminium, one was made out of glass fiber. And they were deep we hauled really seaworthy and capable boats. Uh, the most extreme one we did was with a 27 degree dead rise at the, at the transom. Uh, and uh, let's say we loved the boats, how they handled in hard weather. Uh, we loved the looks of the boats, but at the same time, they were a bit demanding on the driver. So that uh, when you, uh, a hull is always a small sort of a compromise. And uh, when we do a 27 degree dead rise, it will start demanding something out of the driver. So that the driver needs to be able to, to handle the boat, he needs to trim the engines correctly, depending on the sea conditions, he needs to be able to trim trim tabs because the boat wants to start leaning over to the windy side. So these type of things, and we started thinking that how can we create a product that is actually not demanding from the skipper any of this, that how can we create a hull that actually makes the product uh, handle itself so that the skipper doesn't need to even think what's happening underneath the waterline that he, the, the hull uh, does these things for themselves and this is now more or less the result if we just have a look quickly on 28 for example uh, the 28 is now having twin steps so that when we are doing the twin steps we are actually adding stability points on the boat so that this instead of also additionally increasing airflow underneath the hull and thus also uh, lubricating the hull, it also acts as a stability point so that we uh, get a boat that is much more stable, uh, it's much more uh, predictable and it doesn't want to do anything because it always tries to find a neutral point on, on its own. So these are the things. Uh, so we wanted, a long story short, we wanted to create one of the best handling boats that are still at the same point, one of the easiest boats to handle, easiest to drive, that still looks really, really sexy when you arrive in the boats into any harbor anywhere around the world, but still needs to be functional on all the features you have on board. So that is Oxopar in short, uh, but there is so much more to say about the brand itself. So you need to stick around and I can give you the chance to tell more about it. Perfect. Yeah. And guys, I can also say that we've, we've we're, as you know, we're a very, very busy charter boat. Yeah. And all the guests we've had on board absolutely love the Axo Park. I actually, it was me that convinced the owner of the boat to buy the Axo Park because he, he wasn't aware of the brand. Yeah. And then he got on board, was supposed to actually get the 28, mm -hmm. but the salesman only had the 37 available for sea trials. Oh, okay. And then we took the 37 out and he's like, damn. And I'm like, what's wrong? He goes, now we've got to buy the 37. I can't step down to the 28. Yep. But honestly, guys, we've, we've loved it. We wouldn't change it. It's so practical. It's so user-friendly. It, 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 there's something for everyone. So congratulations on what you've done. So, Jan Eric, you were just saying to me earlier that um, Axel Power was founded in 2014. 14, yes. Okay, so that's now come into the sixth year now. Yep. So explain to the viewers, from when you started, the, you know, the, the first holes that you built to where you are now, what has changed and how the company has grown? Well, I would say actually that quite a lot of things have changed. So that uh, in 2016, uh, sorry, 2014, uh, we started with the launch in Helsinki. We uh, had a 28 range, three different models. And then uh, let's say the first year of production was something around 53 boats or something, which was really good because we, we of course are always anticipating some sales, but the 53 boats were good. But then we started developing a bigger 37, uh, but quite rapidly the concept caught on 
of the usability, user-friendly, pri good price point on the product so that uh, we now, in these five years on the market, we have now become the biggest boat producer in, in the Nordic countries. That's amazing. Uh, Congratulations, yeah, by thank the you. way. That's incredible. Thank you. And uh, just to give you an idea, the 37s we are building today, we are building over one boat each and every day going somewhere around the world. So one that is one. Day. So we build uh, six boats for now in five working days, and we have a target of building 1037s in five working days. So That's that incredible. tells you something about about the volume of production, what we're trying to do, and also why we can keep such a good price point on the product, because we really focus on bringing a modular boat, and that is what the, the changes have become, that we are keep increasingly becoming better in uh, efficient production and modularity, which then, uh, for us, as a production point, point of view, we can do modular constructions that are easy to repeat, we get higher quality and we get faster through times in the factory, all for the benefit of the customer that we still can make a better product than ever before, but still keep the good value point or price point on our product. So that's probably the number one that is changing. Okay guys, I'm delighted to announce that today's video has been sponsored by Aquabanners. Now I'm joined by Mark Anastasia. He is the founder of Aquabanners and he's gonna tell us a little bit about the products that they have an offer. Mark, welcome to the channel. Cool, thank you very much. Thank you for sponsoring the Super Yacht Captain YouTube channel. Well, Much appreciate awesome. it. I appreciate that as well. Tell us about what it is that Aquabanners have an offer, the products you have, and what makes you different from the other inflatable companies. Okay, cool. All right, well, basically, I've been doing commercial inflatables about 28 years. I've got a lot of experience, a lot of background on, on doing this. And I came up with a concept about eight months ago of doing something on the water that hadn't been done before. And what we're trying to do, and as we say in our catalog, is we're redefining water entertainment. And what we're doing is making an inflatable that everybody can get on. It's not just the 30 years old guys that can, guys and girls that, that are physically able to jump up onto an inflatable. This is made for 50, 60, 70 year olds that can just come in here, get on this inflatable, drink, party, have lunch, have a great time all day long. So what we did was we decided to create something cool and special. We've got this deck which is made out of a drop stitch material, non-slip surface so people don't slip and fall on it. We've got a beer cooler built in. So basically, right here you can put a day's worth of your favorite beverages and if you run out, go ahead and get more, it's all good. Then to make it even better, we've got a speaker up here that you can buy separately and it's your favorite Bluetooth sounds are going on that. And then what we found out is in the daytime, people suddenly night comes along so we put a light on here so that while you're sitting here you can go ahead and just keep on partying into the evening um, the cool thing about it is that we've got a, a table here same thing as like a, a stand-up paddleboard inflatable stand-up paddleboard that's what this table is made out of it's absolutely rock solid you can dance on it you can have a lot of fun on it more importantly you can have lunch you can have drinks you can have a great time down here we've got a netted footwell this is where it's really cool because your feet are dangling in the water when you're on this. So you don't Incredible. want jellyfish to come up and sting you, so obviously that, that, that stops that. But also if you drop your keys or if you drop your cell phone, that's easy to get hold of. And if a kid falls through, then they don't go up underneath of it. You can grab the kid, pull them back up. So it's very much of a safety thing. And, and that, that's kind of the, the feature of it. Perfect. Guys, if you're interested in any of the products that uh, Aguabanners have on offer, I put all the links in the description below, so go and check them out. They've got dealers in Europe and dealers in the North Americas and South and America Asia. Yeah, and Asia. Asia. So well. all, they, they're a global company. Yeah. Go and check it out. We've been looking at all the products they have on offer online and it's, it's brilliant. They've taken it really to the, the next step. Mark, thank you so much hey for man, your time. You so really much, appreciate, I appreciate it. it. And uh, look forward to working with you guys for years to come. Man. Thank you. Thanks again, awesome. guys. Cool. Go and check them out. Thank you very much.
Secondly, what is changing is that, of course, now we have a really good platform to build our products on. So the 28s and the 37s with their twin-step hull and their fuel efficiency already when they were launched were something unconventional, uh, especially when you look at, at some uh, boats that are traditional uh, with the traditional hulls. But now we get a really, let's say, we, we, we get our own knowledge of our own hulls that how can we make our own hulls even more efficient and the new 37 revolution which we launched here now in Düsseldorf is a perfect example of this development work that our own team is doing and uh, just to give you really short we have increased fuel efficiency or lowered fuel efficiency on a 37 by 30 percent in certain speed ranges. Three zero percent, Three zero guys. percent. That Absolutely. is absolutely insane. We don't That's do incredible. This, we don't do this alone. We do this in collaboration with Mercury Marine, so that when we compare a 37 previous model with the Virado L6 engines, and now we do the new Revolution 37 with their new V8 engines, these two two combined are doing the 30 percent in fuel consumption. Assumption in. So that is just one thing to say about. Also what it's doing is that we have increased the cruising speed range so that the most efficient cruising area was before I would say 28 knots, mm -hmm. 25 knots. Now it's increased to 30 or 32. So the most efficient cruising speed is now actually six knots higher. And that also has something to do with, with customers wanting to go somewhere fast. And also, even if you increase cruising speed to even up to 40 knots, we are still in really reasonable fuel consumption figures so that you can really go with an Oxopar fast from point A to B or take uh, like a super yacht, you can take care of your customers in a fast, rapid way to get them on shore or back on the boats. Uh, and you're still not burning that much fuel so that the, by doing all of this, we also add that, uh, a cruising range of 35%. So that before you could do a cruising of 220 nautical miles, Yes. now we're doing almost 300, oh, 290 incredible. with the same fuel tank. Yeah, that's Just amazing. Just because of doing these things and changes on the step. There is a lot of things that went into it. Really short. We found we made the first generation 37. Now we do the revolution. We spent two times as much money on making the reborn 37 than we put on the first boat in the beginning. Wow. Okay. So we have spent twice the hours, twice the money in just making an already good perfect, uh, already a good concept, better, more efficient, 
better uh, in terms of production also for us that it's more efficient for us to produce and also then that increases the quality level of the product. All the fits and finishing parts, all the roundings, how we finish uh, a GRP mold, how we finish the ready product, all the, of these have been increased and I hope you see this when you go on a product. Absolutely, I have to say, um, so from, because we've got the original 37 guys and we actually, I put a, a file together for Axopar and Jan Eric and I met, I don't know if you remember, at the yeah, Cambo Cam show Bocho. last year. And he, he going through all the things I wrote down and they had addressed all my comments before I even gave them the sheet. They knew exactly what they had to change. And they, what I really appreciate is that you guys listen to your customers. Yeah. A lot, a lot of boat builders don't listen. They produce whatever they want, and you want to you want the experience of the customers to be greatly increased and getting better and better. Yeah. While we're on the topic of talk about your customers, yes, I was saying early on the video to the viewers that my new favorite boat is this kind of adventure design that you got going yeah. on. Yeah. You know, tell us what you're seeing from a customer base. What people, how people are using their boat, and why this concept you feel is going to be the revolution or part of the revolution of boating? Yeah, well, um, this actually comes from our customers so that the, we see a lot of our customers utilizing the boat not only for going on with the boats anymore, that they actually spend more time on board and they want to do different stuff on board. So hence we have an adventure team starting with Oxapar because this is the gear we see on most of the Oxapars, especially being used in Scandinavia, that now the boating itself and just spending time on the boat is not the only thing you do with the boat. You actually utilize the boat to go and explore new places, somewhere remote where you are inaccessible by car or by bike. So imagine taking you out for a remote island somewhere and going mountain biking on a remote island where probably there has never been a bike before even. Yep. Or just bringing your kayaks and really going exploring some really sneaky uh, uh, rocky shores and, and just you know uh, spending a additional hours on a boat but getting so much more experience on board. So the boats itself standard stock Oxapar 28 with a Brabus line trim package but of course now on the 28 we add in roof racks on them so that you can bring this stuff with you but also on the 37s we are doing the same roof rack systems but we are also doing a multi-storage uh, which, which you can really pack down everything so I will go and show you that one in a minute yep. just so you get an idea that this is the trend we see uh, we see come, becoming and most of the boats I see on the water has a mountain bike somewhere in the walkway. They have a stand-up paddling board placed between the walkers. Yeah. We wanted to get rid of that because you still want to utilize the boat, but you're now bringing big object with you. Sure. So, so also like, you know, for us, for like the, the owner of Motu Awol, he's a huge cyclist and he loves paddle boarding. Yeah. And again, we always put his bike, it's always in the way, it's uncomfortable. So mm -hmm. it's great. You've really listened to your customer. And finally, I just want to say, this wrap, will this be available for clientele, the contour wrap, uh, or is it a one-off? This, uh, this is a one-off for now, but right. uh, we said that also with the camo wrap we do on the Revolution, yes. and especially we do that also on the Fusion wrapping we do on the Brabus 900. So this started as a camo wrap, which we didn't want to, uh, let's say it this way. We did the camo wrap for the Revolution 37 because we wanted to showcase the 37 three months before its world premiere to some members of the press in Cannes. Right. But not to showcase everything, we chose for a camouflage pattern. Usually we want to do that like an automotive pattern, but we looked at the automotive pattern, they covered the boat too much. So we came up with our own library, or our, our own pattern, yeah. and more or less smacking it on the boat, getting it everywhere on the roof, the sidewalks, bow walks, everywhere inside. And when we see the boat live, and our dealers see the boat live, they just go like, holy yeah. this looks cool. Yeah. And, and it became an option now, so that customers can have this uh, Oxapar Revolution wrap on their boats, any of the 37s, and especially now also on the Shadow 900s, you can also get the, the Fusion wrapping on it. So it's it's again a small thing of changing small things. Yeah. The, the wrapping itself is actually quite smart because it gives you a small protection from the bumps and dents that you can get when you're mooring and coming in, so that more or less if you buy a wrapping, you use it for one season or two seasons, then you take, peel it off. 
polish the boat and you have clean uh, gel coat surface underneath. So this is also as, as a way of protecting, protecting the boat from the UV. And yes, yeah, yeah. Exactly. so small, small things, but it's still, you know, there is a functionality into it also. Yeah. Great. Yeah. And guys, just so, just so you know, Jan Eric doesn't know this yet, but I'm about to tell him, he's going to agree to loan me one of these boats for a weekend if this video gets 10,000 likes. And then what I'll do, I'll vlog everything, the use of how you can use this boat as like a, a life experience on board an Axo part. Isn't that right, Anjan Yeah, that's a deal. That's You've got it here on camera, that's look. A deal. Yes. Handshake, that's a handshake, handshake. But 10,000 likes, guys, click that like button. Yes. Quick, quick, quick. So there we have it, guys. Very thankful to Jan Eric for giving us the tour uh, of his Axel Car boat. And you heard it here first. You guys were witnesses. He agreed. If this video does get that 10,000 like, he's going to loan us the adventure boat for a weekend to record some awesome content in the south of France for your viewing pleasure and for my pleasure as well. So go ahead and just click that like button. If you haven't done already, do consider subscribing to the channel uh, so you don't miss any future content. And until next time, guys, I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.